It's Friday, April 14th. I'm Erin Guy with your news to go. Governor Ron DeSantis signed a bill into law that bans abortions after six weeks of pregnancy. This new law comes after Florida moved to a 15 week abortion ban just last year. The six week ban will only take effect if the current 15 week ban is upheld, an ongoing legal challenge that has made its way to the Supreme Court. The new law does have exceptions to save a mother's life or in cases of rape or incest. Well, the person of interest in the disappearance of a local Lyft driver will find out today if he's going to be sent back here to Florida. Matthew Flores is currently in a North Carolina jail. He was arrested in February after leading police on a chase while driving the car of Gary Levin. Flores is wanted for murder in Hardy County, which is more than an hour west of Okeechobee. Crews on the Treasure Coast are resuming work on a major beach renourishment project once again. The last time there was a beach renourishment in this area of St. Lucie County was back in 2021. Officials hope erosion won't be a challenge so they can finish by the beginning of hurricane season. And here's your seven day forecast. We will see the potential for some rain and thunderstorms in the afternoon hours and temperatures will be above average today, tomorrow and even your Sunday with highs near 87 to 90 degrees. A cold front moving into our area Sunday and Monday that will increase our rain chances and also the potential for some strong thunderstorms on Sunday afternoon, but much cooler next week, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Lots of sunshine and morning lows in the 60s and that's your news to go.